Hello everyone. Many of you have asked Kitty for help when measuring, so welcome to our visual guide to taking measurements for a made-to-measure chest binder. Note that you may find taking measurements easier if you start by tying a string or elastic at each of the following locations. First, tie the string or elastic around your body at underarm level, just about touching your armpits and staying at that same height going around the back, but tilting up higher as you go to the front so it's going up past the sloped part of your chest. If your chest were a mountain range, the string is only passing through the northern foothills, not the peaks. If you own a cleavage, the string should be above the cleft. This is where you will take your upper chest measurement. Next, tie the string or elastic around the ribcage under your chest, making sure it's more or less level with the body. If you wear a bra, this is where the band would sit. If you don't know where that would be, Try to aim for the level where your chest ends and your abdomen begins. This is where you'll take your rib cage measurement. To get the front band height, measure the vertical distance between the two strings passing right over the nipple. If your chest is flat, this should be pretty simple. If you have a large bust, it's a bit more of a judgment call. In that case, try to follow the curvature of your bust, but also draw the tape a bit snug, but not so it digs into your skin a lot. You might find this physically easier to manage in a supportive bra. To find your side band height, measure the vertical distance between the two strings but straight down from the middle of your armpit. Now, this is not going to be the finished height of the binder at this part of the body. Kitty will be using this measurement as a basis for drafting the pattern, not literally making it this height. So no, the binder isn't going to be up against your armpits. Don't compensate by starting to measure two inches below, for example, because Kitty will draft the finished item to scoop out under the arms with the assumption that this measurement starts right at the armpits. If you do start by measuring too low, the band will be way too narrow at the sides to support your chest correctly. You all saw that finger wagging. You wouldn't want to make Kitty sad now, would you? The next part might be easier to do without any strings, because they're not likely to want to stay in place here anyway. Put your tape measure around your body at the fullest point of your chest. It's usually, but not always, around nipple level. Make sure that the tape is parallel to the ground all the way around. Hold it so it's snug enough not to slip, but not so tight that it distorts the measurement. Don't stress about getting this super accurate for this project because the soft tissues are going to get squished significantly anyway. This is your full chest measurement. Now, a final bonus measurement. You only need to take this one if you're sensitive to having boning anywhere near your underarms. If you think you are, or if you wear a bra and have had trouble with underwires, you definitely do want to do this one. Imagine now a straight line dropping down from the crease in front of your arm. At roughly nipple height, take a horizontal measurement from the center of your chest, right on the sternum, to that imaginary line. Let's call this the boning limit line measurement, because it tells Kitty not to put any boning past this point where it might poke you in the armpit. For us nerds, if you had a Venn diagram, the boning limit line would be a subset of the full chest measurement line because it travels the same path, but only part of the way. So, that's the bunny. Or, if you're not British, so, that's how you do it. The way to take accurate measurements for a custom-drafted chest binder. Remember, the fit of any garment can only be as good as your measurements, so feel free to watch this a couple of times if you need to make really sure you understand what to do. And if you still have any questions, please contact us through Facebook or email us through the contact form on our website, felixandkitty.com. Happy measuring.